Hey, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, want to give all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakah HaKodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who do rule well. And peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the Lord's elect. Uh, this is the brother Yeshaya, part of Men Valley, South Carolina. And um, this lesson is going to be uh, basically titled, uh, The Remnant Shall Not uh, Commit Iniquity, Man. Okay? And uh, there's a reason why. Uh, the Lord is coming back to redeem his people Okay and There are a certain body Of people okay A.K.A. the remnant also the elect Okay that Yahweh Bashem uh, 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 um Basically um, Is favoring right now man And through them the whole nation Is going to come back alright uh, Because as we know two thirds Of his people the wicked are going to have to die here uh, die in America, die in various other places where they're scattered, because um, Israel as a nation, we've been we've been scattered amongst all the nations. Okay, uh, you know, in uh, um, Deuteronomy, you know, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of scriptures, a plethora of scriptures that I can bring up, but for time's sake, I'm getting straight to the point, man. Basically, the remnant, okay, uh, uh, you know, is basically the the um, spokesperson. You know, uh, to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Sha for the uh, the the rest of the nation of Israel, because as the scriptures say, the uh, uh, the whole nation of Israel is the elect. But then there's an elect inside of the elect. Okay, that's the uh, the, the twelve, the rest of the hundred and forty four thousand. Okay, with uh, uh, King David being the head of you know that, then the twelve, and then. Uh, the 144,000 Okay And then there's a one third remnant Okay And then you know That's the governing body That Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Is going to set up In his kingdom To run it You know He, he deals uh, The Lord deals with decency And order Alright So There's going to be a, a, a structure In the kingdom of heaven Everybody That's an Israelite Is not just going to be Running around With the same amount of power The same amount of uh, 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 You know Uh not stature, but, uh, you know, the same amount of rank. That's the better word. All right. So let's get into it, man. Uh, I'm going to start out with Zephaniah. Zephaniah, the third chapter. And, uh... Let's see. I'm going I'm to actually start at uh, 9. I'm going to start at 8. Therefore, uh, this is Zephaniah 3 and 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, Yahweh, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them mine indignation, even all of my, uh, even all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. So that's what the Lord is doing now. He's doing that in the Middle East. Okay, uh, you know, the valley of Yahweh Shapat. Okay, the Lord's judgment, the Lord's righteous anger, uh, uh, you know, indignation that means righteous anger. Okay, and the Lord is doing that right now, man. Okay, He's gathering their nations up, uh, you know, especially in the Middle East. And, um, the only two places that's really going to be totally destroyed is Babylon the Great and over there in the Middle East, our homeland, because it has to be cleansed. because you have Tel Aviv over there, you know, Pink City, all right, in in our actual homeland. So you know the Lord has to totally really destroy that place, man, and He's gonna do it and cleanse it at the same time. So we still have to go back there for high holy days. All right, this is an ordinance that you know the Lord is gonna. He said we're gonna keep forever, man, even in the kingdom of heaven. You know. Um, Zephaniah 3 and verse 9. For then will I turn to the people a pure language, that they may all call upon the name of the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh to serve him with one consent. And he turned back to us a pure language, man. Okay, our Paleo Hebrew, but you know, also we uh we are um we have uh the the uh the new song, okay? The new song that that this this doctrine that Yahweh Shem Yahweh has given us, man. 
through the apostles, I mean, through the Holy Spirit, the apostles, you know, the elder bishops on down, you know, certain brothers. It's like, right? Verse 10, for beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, my suppliants, even the daughter of my dispersed shall bring mine offering. And that day shalt thou not be ashamed for all thy doings. Wherein thou hast transgressed against me. For then I will take away out of the midst of thee them that rejoice in thy pride. And thou shalt no more be haughty because of, uh, because of my holy mountain. I will also leave in the midst of thee an afflicted and poor people. And they shall trust in the name of the Lord. Yeah, how about you now? Sorry, that's us, man. We had to, you know, uh, be afflicted and poor and, and serve out our punishment. But our punishment is almost done, man. Right? Verse 13. Here's the point. The remnant of Israel shall not do iniquity, nor speak lies. Neither shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth, but they shall feed and lie down, and none shall make them afraid. Okay? So, man, uh, and that means because we have all committed iniquity. I mean, uh, uh, a sin. All right? Iniquity is uh, sin on top of sin. But we've all, we're all guilty of committing some sort of sin, man. All right, but there are certain people of our nation that really are committing sin upon sin, you know, uh, 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 still eating pork, still eating crab, shrimp, lobster, committing adultery, doing all these other things that they can easily avoid. Even And, and the prophets are on the street corners, are on the YouTube, the unicorn, okay, on the internet, you know, uh, uh, telling you not to do these things, man, which is a form of grace and a form of mercy from Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. Okay? But there's coming a time where the prophets are not gonna be able to uh, be able to even speak, man. You know? Uh thy tongue shall cleave to the roof of thy mouth, man. And it should be dumb and, and not a reprover, you know. So yeah, uh roughly paraphrasing of course. So uh let's move on to the next scripture. The book of Second Chronicles. Second Chronicles. Chapter seven and verse fourteen. And the reason if my people which are called by my name, all right, the Israelites, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. So the Lord said that he already, he already was is going to do that, okay? In various scriptures, he already said that he's going to heal our land, all right? But why is that? Two-thirds of our people are not, uh, uh, you know, included in this, man. They have not repented. They're not going to repent. All right? It's shut off for them to repent, okay? Uh, the, uh, the book of Isaiah 6 and 9, they really they can't see it because the Rakakodash, the angels, okay, which carry this uh, word and carry the spirit of the Lord to whom is meant for, but they also, in likewise manner, shut off who is not meant for. You know, so you know a, their conscience has been seared with a hot iron. They won't be able to get it. All right, and that's one of the things that I got really quick in the truth. Like our people are not gonna get it, and you know some of the brothers that be around, man, be like, man, you too harsh, man, on our people. Yeah, but now it's like. They see, they, they're not gonna get it, man. Uh, yeah, Second Chronicles. Uh, yeah. So th that's it. I ain't gonna read that again, man. Yeah. Uh, let's go to the book of Isaiah, man. You know because, oh man, Isaiah um was basically cussing out our people, man. He was uh, vexed, man. Isaiah ten and twenty one. The remnant shall return. I'm going to start at 20. Isaiah 1 and 20. Uh, uh, Isaiah uh, 10 and 20. Slacky. And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel, that small number, all right, the remnant of Israel, and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote them, but shall stay upon the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, the Holy One of Israel in truth. And that's us right now, man. We're not st uh, staying upon uh, Esau Edom's 
and, and none of these other nations, but mainly Esau. Uh, we're not standing upon uh, his. Uh, we're not standing upon uh, him that smote them. We're not depending on him. Okay, of course we gotta have a job. Uh, you know, we gotta do this and do that. But spiritually, we're not depending on him. And ultimately, that spirit of us not depending on him, okay, is gonna the remnant. All right, the the hopeful elect. That spirit of not depending on him is going to actually lead us into the hour of temptation where we will be victorious and not take the kragma, you know? It, 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 it's leading up to that, okay? 21, the remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, unto the mighty power. Yeah, how about Shem Yahweh So we're returning to how about Shem Yahweh okay? It says, um, arise ye and depart, this is not your rest. That doesn't mean, uh, get a passport and leave uh, Babylon the Great because you know Babylon the Great going to get destroyed. No, it says leave leave it spiritually, man. All right? Leave it spiritually. And that's what we've done. We, we got to be among everyone. We got to be amongst, uh, uh, you know, the wicked of our people. I just did a video uh, last night about how wicked uh, people uh, come up against you, man. Not And I fix it all the time. Family, like, I, I don't really deal with nobody in the world man i mean that's just my spirit i don't have any two-third friends uh, i don't deal with my family because they're wicked but the lord has seen me through i'm you know i don't really need that i don't really need to depend on them for nothing um it is what it is man you know but other people's walk is different i'm not saying not to uh deal with your family if you cordial with your family that's all good and that's all good man but certain brothers just get really vexed <laughs> around uh, uh people man and i i'm one of the ones i, I get vexed around uh people and, and you know i, I have a uh, i'm still trying to learn patience man and all that but anyway uh yeah verse 22 for th though thy people israel be as the sand of the sea yet a remnant of them shall return the consumption decreed shall overflow with right righteousness so israel is like a sand of the sea you can't number it all right we've been even if you would take every black latino and native american and be like okay we're gonna do a census which a census is going off anyway but we're gonna do a census and be like okay black latino native american if you even count them you still not going to uh pinpoint every black i mean every uh uh israelite because we've been scattered amongst the nations all right the lord did that on purpose you won't be able to count israel because and, and he actually did that as a, a favor to us because we would have been fucking destroyed if they would be like okay that's an israelite take him out that's an israelite take him out take her out take them out but it can't do that because you got Israelites that scattered amongst the nations that look like the other nations, but their line and their lineage actually goes back from their fathers, okay, to Israelite. So there we go. Um, since we're in Isaiah, let's go to the book Isaiah chapter 1. Uh, this is the book Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 9. Except the Lord of hosts have left unto us a very small remnant, and remnant already means a small number, so... Isaiah is emphasizing the number of the remnant because, hey, the, like I just read previously, the uh, the number of, of of the children of Israel is like the sand of the sea, okay, which can't be numbered or measured. But this small remnant, this piece, all right, this uh, the one hundred forty-four thousand, the one-third remnant is a very small remnant uh, compared to, you know. Uh, the whole of Israel, okay? Like um, Elder Manasseh Zakba loves to do that pie chart, you know? That's a good visual, okay, to express what I'm saying. Verse 9, except the Lord of hosts have left unto us a very small remnant, we have been like a Sodom, and we should have been like unto Gomorrah, okay? So there you go, man. And I mean, most, most of our people have fallen into that. And also, man, Sodom and Gomorrah, and the neighboring cities have been totally destroyed and uninhabited. So unless the Lord left us a small remnant, us as a nation will be totally destroyed. All right, because uh, the ones that curse you, how I mean, uh, uh, that basically curse themselves by saying, "Let you know their blood be on our children's children." 
that his blood been on our children's children and basically cursed themselves, man. If we were all like that, we'd have been destroyed. But there were certain of us that back when Yahweh Shah was getting persecuted, when he was ultimately, uh, 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 you know, put on that cross, we were still rocking with Yahweh Shah. We was like, man, it's wrong. We were weeping, uh, sorrowful. You know what I'm saying? It was a, it, it, it hurt us, but two thirds of our people, which they're back today, they they loved it. They 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 ate it up. You know what I'm saying? And then they're still in that spirit today. Like, uh, let me get this right here. Uh, this is the book of uh, Revelation, chapter 11. And verse 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which is talking about Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, which spiritually is called Sodom in Egypt. Where also our Lord was crucified. Now, obviously, he's not, he wasn't crucified in Sodom or Egypt. Uh, he was crucified in his home city, state, you know, you know, is in uh, Israel. All right, it was the skull of uh, the, the Mount of Bones, uh, Golgotha, or something like that. Um, if I'm wrong, uh, Lord willing, if anybody sees this, uh, you know, uh, correct me, but Golgotha, you know, Mount of Bones, or something like that, or, skeleton, or something like that. All right, so that's not Egypt and that's not, it's not Sodom, okay? The Lord Yahweh wasn't even around, actually Yahweh shot when Sodom and Gomorrah got destroyed, all right? So, and Egypt, you know? So, come on, man. But it's talking about him being exed out over here in, 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 uh, our land, in the land of our captivity, Babylon the Great, man. But uh, just a little side note, yeah. Uh, all right, we are gonna uh, move on. Uh, we we'll go to the book of uh, Romans eleven, man. Cause Paul talked about the remnant and also quoted King David on this, man. Revelation eleven, chapter four, but. What saith the answer of the Most High unto him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. Okay, so 7,000 in the seven is the number of completion in the thousands, man. 144,000, all right? Even so then, at this present time, also there is a remnant according to the election of grace, that one-third remnant. That's why brothers say that 144,000 and the one-third remnant, which consists of men, women, and children, all right? That remnant. And if by grace, then it is no more of works. Otherwise, grace is no more grace. But if it be of works, then there's no more grace. Otherwise, work is no more work. So yeah, they all, they, they, they complement each other. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded. So that's why, uh, you know, um, the scriptures talk about them having a zeal, but not according to knowledge. Because spiritually, as Israelites, it's written in our spirit to seek our power because it, 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 that's how we were made, okay, to serve Yahweh Bashem Yahweh But the Lord had it to where two thirds of His people are going to be spiritually shut off and not seek Him, all right, and go after the ways of idols and and everything like that, and not turn back because we all have uh, uh, been uh, guilty of that. We all we all have been in, in 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 the Baptist church. We've all been in you know all other denominations of Christianity or Catholicism or whatever, man. So that includes those, but then the, there's the remnant, like I uh, brought out earlier, that was going to turn back. All right, tell you how about Shem Yahusha, you know? Um, yeah. So, hey, by the remnant, man. All right, the the the, the rest of the nation is going to be saved pretty much. But Yahusha, when he did that that ultimate sacrifice, that was for the whole nation, but that only rested on, in this time period for the elect. So, uh, you know, 144,000 and a third. Two thirds are going to have to die of death by pain. And they're dying right now. You're seeing people dying left and right, man. They're getting smoked. Then they got to appear for the, uh, uh, the, the, the the judgment seat. You got to explain themselves to you how about Shim Yahusha, how they went off and feel that guilt, that pain, that 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 sorrow when they should have been feeling it now. Like the elect have and, and, and you know, are drawing back to the Lord. And repenting because you have to be sorrowful to 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 repent, you know. And now the King David's gonna get into it. Uh, 
uh, what then Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded, according as it is written, the most I have not given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that uh, the, the most I have given them the spirit of slumber. Eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. And this is um, quoting the book of Isaiah, chapter 6, and verse 9. And then, and David said in Psalms, Let the table be made a snare, and a trap, and a stumbling block, and a recompense to them. Let their eyes be darkened that they may see, they may not see, and bow down their back always. So, you know, that, that goes into, you know, uh, them appearing in front of the, uh, you know, uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh you know, for judgment, and also following them in the kingdom of heaven, man, they're gonna have lesser a lesser glow and a lesser stature than the elect that stood boldly for Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai in these days, man. They're gonna know that they pers they was the ones that persecuted Yahweh Shai. They're gonna know that they was the ones that you know rejected this word and tossed it behind their back, man. All right, uh, second Ezra nine, man. You know, so. Uh, Let's move on to the book of Galatians, chapter 6. Galatians, chapter 6. And verse 16. And as many as walk according to this rule, peace be on, to, uh, on them and mercy and upon the Israel of the Most High, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So there's an Israel inside of the whole nation of Israel, the Israel of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, because we're, uh, we're all Israel, all, everyone that was made an Israelite, spiritually made an Israelite, okay, and it manifests sometimes in the spirit, I mean, in the, in the, in the physical, okay, you can look at certain uh, Jake's. And be like, okay, or you know, certain Israelites be like, okay, that's an Israelite, you know, with the dark skin, the coarse hair, the beard, the flavor, you know, the salt, you know what I'm saying? And you be like, oh, that's an Israelite. But sometimes you can't tell. Sometimes Israelites have, uh, uh, you know, the uh, nomenclature <laughs> or the uh, what is it, genotype, phenotype, whatever, the outward appearance of another nation. But inwardly, they are Israelites, and that doesn't mean everyone can be an Israelite. Okay, it's talking about the spirit. You can't change your spirit. All right, the spirit of the prophets is subject to the prophets. Uh, and if you were, uh, even in the uh, nation of Israel, if you were a scoffer and a scorner, you know, uh, in the beginning of the time you were, you are now. Okay, if you were a prophet and you were an advocate of Yahweh by Shem and you know, you are now. It's point blank, man. Uh, Galatians 6 and uh yeah so there, there's a difference between uh Israel and uh yeah let me get it in Romans 9 because Paul tells you man <laughs> that's why he was a uh you know a, a, a integral part of, of this ministry man that's why and, and that's why you gotta the New Testament man uh as a whole with the Old Testament Romans 9 and 6 not as though the word of the most high have taken none effect but they are not all Israel which are of Israel there you go neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children but in Isaac shall that seed be called and we all and, and through the spirit we know who Isaac is okay so that goes deep it goes deeper but we just gonna we just gonna keep it moving man cause I got uh, I got three more precepts man I'm gonna wrap it up uh, this is the book of 1 Peter. There you go. This is the book of 1 Peter. Chapter 4. And verse 17. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the of, of God, the most high. Yeah, how about you, Yashai? And if it begin at us. What shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh So it's going to be, it, it, it's levels to being an Israelite. You got one of uh, the ones that's getting judged and, and being judged to come back. You got ones that's being judged to be judged. And then on the flip side, 
you got uh, the rest of the nations that are not, you know, uh, 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 even, you know, part of the covenants, part of part of this thing. And they're going to, you know, be utterly destroyed. But the ones that really are going to destroy more than them because they wasn't even meant to uh, uh, partake in the covenant. So the Lord is going to have a lesser kind of lesser judgment on them. Except for E. E got the... the whew. And you also got to thank the Lord. Man, me and the brother was talking about this the other day, man. Uh, uh, call her lawyer. All right. All praises. Okay. Uh, La. Two. I mean, all praises. Call her lawyer. Wa. All right. So that's uh, all praises and Hawad. Glory. La. Two. Yahweh. The name of the Most High. By Hashem in the name Yahweh Shah for uh, making us Israelites, man, because we could be uh, these uh, Edomites right out here, man. And, and and most and some of these Edomites really uh, are living worse than us, man. So just imagine being an Edomite and living living horribly, but still being an Edomite and getting uh, uh, put into slavery, man. That's a that's a you know, two time loser, like like uh, uh, we like to say, man. So yeah, man. Uh, First Peter. 4 and 17, for the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. And if you begin at us, what shall the end of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High? And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? So the righteous are going to be scarcely saved, man. The elect are going to be scarcely saved, man. Where where are the the, the other? Uh, where the two-thirds are going to appear, man? They're going to take that cloud money, they're going to get destroyed, and they're going to, you know. So, yeah, and, um, uh, I'm going to the book of John uh, 15. It's one of my favorite chapters where Yahweh Shai talks about the ones that Yahweh, that, that, that Yahweh gave him that can't be plucked out of his hand, man. All right. Uh, the book of uh, St. John chapter 15 and... Uh, Mm. It's a beautiful chapter to read, man. Um, trying to find my point. Yeah, hey, you know what? I'm gonna leave it at that. Just, just leave, read John 15, man. But uh, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna end it off with Revelation 7 because he talks about um, the ones that had their remnant. I mean, uh, the remnant <laughs> that had their, um, you know, garments uh, washed, their garments white, and that's symbolic. Uh, that's symbolic for, you know, of uh, the Lord forgiving them of their sins and them actually being the elect, man. Uh, Revelation 7. And verse of, and it goes into the 12 tribes, uh, the 144,000, 12,000 from each uh, 12 tribes, okay? Uh, Revelation 7 and 14, and I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest, he said to me, These are they which came out of great tribulation and have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. So just as I was saying before, okay? The, the remnant, uh, and like the title of the lesson, the remnant shall not commit iniquity, okay? There's a certain amount of Israelites that's going to repent and be worthy of the blood of the Lamb. And two-thirds of his people are not worthy of that right right now, but on the uh, back end, they're going to get it in the kingdom of heaven by coming back as a newborn babe through the loins of the elect, okay? So, just because they don't get it right now, they don't qualify for, you know, that sacrifice that Yahweh Shai uh, uh, did. They're gonna ultimately get it on the back end, okay? It said, you know, um, all of Israel shall be saved, man. But it's pieces of it, it's parts of it. They're gonna be uh, some of them are gonna be saved over here from the nuclear destruction, and some are gonna have to get that salvation when they return 
as a newborn baby in the kingdom of heaven. So uh, that's it. Uh, I think I made my point. Hey, I'm um, giving all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rechah HaKwadash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the Lord's elect. Hey, until next time, Shalom.